Yo guys, what's up? Shadow here, and welcome back to another episode of Jagged Alliance 3! Alrighty, so we're before Bernie Village. We're about to invade this, but I'm just gonna do something real quick. Let me go to my browser. Uh, because on the last episode, uh, was an interesting suggestion from a friend of mine that uh, I forgot to hire Lifewire. I kind of wanted to hire her, but I didn't do it yet. And um, I think I'm going to hire her later, but I was told that her perk apparently is really, really good. And I haven't, like, looked at, I think I said it last time, I haven't looked at any of the other guys' perks that I didn't hire yet. So, um, since I'm going to uh, hire her soon enough, we're going to take a look. So, inside dope. Reveals all enemies if you have... Oh my god, okay, that's insane. <laughs> what? Is that real? Um, that seems kind of broken. <laughs> so, as long as you have the intel for the sector... Although, I do have to say, this is kind of genius, because it kind of, like, points you into the direction to use that new mechanic. Okay, that's kind of cool. What else does she have? She's a scoundrel, Mr. Fixit. So, she has very similar perks to Barry, I guess, with the Mr. Fixit. She's an optimist, though. Okay. So... The thing is, she's a mechanic, so she has very high mechanical skill, just as our, like, our IMP. However, it's not really a, a detriment to have two mechanics on the team, because if you go into operations and repair items, as you can see, you can um, put up to two mercs for a repair job. Which means, you know, um, basically, it, it goes faster if you have... Oh, no, wait. I, oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't make him into a repair guy. So right now I only have Barry, who has a high enough repair skill. But yeah, then we'll have exactly two, which means repairing jobs will go by faster. So that is a good thing. And later on, if we maybe have more than one team, we can split them up so there's one mechanic each. So I think the plan um, is probably going to be something like this, that we're, we're taking Ernie, and while we're training mercenaries, not mercenaries, militia in Ernie, um, we'll hire Livewire, which will then come into this island as well. At the moment... This is also, by the way, a pretty cool feature here. You can see your daily income and your burn rate. So at the moment we're burning 1,147 dollars a day. Which means we have rough estimate. At the moment with our costs, we have 28 days before we're bankrupt. And in 28 days we can do quite a lot. Now the goal is going to be to, to get an, an income source, but that should happen fairly quickly i think so let's go to ernie village um we are 22 23 at night so this is going to be a night battle as well which is good i think let's see total time eight hours 17 we minutes really we'll probably be there oh eight eight seventeen so it's probably no six forty. i don't know if that's still considered night time actually probably not might just be the morning. Yeah, okay. Ah, doesn't matter. So we have two Marauders and four Goons. Now, Marauders, if I remember this correctly, Marauders for the most part have, I think, automatic weapons, like machine guns and stuff like that. We'll see. I actually, I'm not 100% sure anymore. Oh, yeah. This is not who you are. Robbery, slavery, murder. How can you take part in such things, my son? Do not call me that. It is not for you to say who I am, but I will tell you one thing. I am not soft and weak like you. This country needs strong people and a brave leader like the Major. Is this why your leader has kidnapped President Lafontaine? To prove how brave he is? Lafontaine is a fool. The Major was right to take him down and now I'll capture his daughter as well. She fled to this island like a coward, just like you and your friends did all those years ago. Mon Dieu. I... I have to warn her. You have to sit on your ass and do nothing. My men should have captured her already. Now stop wasting my time. I need to go back to the fort and report. All right. This is an important character. This is Pierre. We'll meet him later. Yes. <laughs> okay. So here we go. So this is what a standard deployment looks like when you come into a, uh, a sector. You might notice very well from Checkered Alliance 2. So you have a deployment zone. Right now it's just this. And now... We do have intel of this sector, which means we have here on the right side, we have a few different um, 
like uh, points of interest for example we have a back alley here which shows us that there is a, a sneaky way back here there's high ground here but there's also enemies there and also enemies over here so we have like two groups of enemies um so we're gonna we're gonna drop our guys right here behind this cover and um let's deploy ready press h to go stealth hide i completely brought the wrong outfit okay let's uh see where these enemies are they might be in the bar or whatever uh, it is like a, it is a bar i think we have enemy there's one but that's a marauder yeah see he has an assault rifle most of the time um pretty much the enemy's class pretty much determines the weapon they have so the marauders mostly have um machine guns uh goons i think goons have pretty much only pistols later there there will be like an upgraded version of them called i think the scouts which have machine pistols there's the snipers there's machine gunners etc so it looks like they're mostly down here so what i'm gonna yes. do okay dead eye is gonna go onto the roof moving we'll have uh, a good view of the enemy so there's two there three enemies in total so we'll try to move these guys a little bit forward and then we'll try a stealth attack with dead eye oh there, yeah there's three i think one just went over here <laughs> also these these conversations are freaking great they just are that is what upsets you if you bother to write something down you should oh hold on hold on hold on that's all i'm saying ah oh, they moved okay i thought if he would move over again we could have gotten all three of them oh okay we're getting discovered i think it's I four of them in here that wants an investigate they'll never see me which is kind of a shame frankly <laughs> fox is so confident isn't she undetected all right let's move him a bit Sometimes right. It's more fun when you have to try to be Let quiet. me move Fox over here. Seek, but with sometimes it, it it is a bit of a, a, a weird thing. Sometimes, um, in I'll certain situations, it's a very good I'll idea to split off your guys, so you have multiple attack vectors. And sometimes it's an absolute terrible idea because enemies will gang up on one specific guy, and he is basically gonna die. You know, so you have to be. Yeah, never see me. sometimes you just have I to just go with your guts. Oh, right oh, okay. Aiming. Okay, so we had to take the shot because he was about to discover us. Now he's dead. That's a good start. Now... Oh, enemies! That was an interesting move from him into the open. I have to deactivate tutorials as well. Now, I'm still hidden, so they don't know I'm up here. Because essentially he's still behind too much cover. So he, he in turn doesn't see this guy as well. So now what we can try is we can try to get this to dude to here. Quiet. So we'll move Sometimes Fox over here. To try to be quiet. We'll try to get a stealth kill on... Th oh, okay. He, he, he saw her. Well, so he has groin and leg anybody. armor. We have... How much AP? 7 AP. So that's just enough for one shot anyway. So I'm going to shoot him into the arm. Oh. So he has less um, accuracy. I'm also going to move him up a bit. The sticks AP. So we're going to go for a torso shot here. Nice. So uh, Fox is probably going to get swarmed a bit here. Which is not really good. Yeah. Okay. That's actually interesting. You will. Uh, I will show you something in a second here. Once we get back to our turn. I think at least it's it's yeah. So you can see she lost health, but not enough to give her that debuff that I was talking about in the last episode. So once this battle is over, she will easily get back to I full health, which is nice. So we're gonna go two torture shots because we <gasps> just want to take him down. Essentially, uh, there's no much sense in me trying to debuff him here because he's gonna go down anyway. Now this dude over here. Yes. He's a bit on a, in a weird situation because he only has a pistol. He's not that dangerous. Fox is in pretty good cover from him. I'm going to move him over here, see if we see somebody. 
Doesn't look like it. Okay. Can we Overwatch in a meaningful way? I don't think so. Also, for Overwatch, important to say, you can see if I pan this around. Sometimes you can see this stripey ground like that. And when I move over, it gets clear again. The stripey ground indicates um, that this area you cannot see. It's blocked by terrain. For example, if I... Yeah, from from above, from the this position here, it's kind of hard to describe because essentially if I aim over here, it's going to fire into this bit. But yeah, sometimes you can see it very well that behind cover, you can see extremely well that where you can shoot exactly and where not. But yeah, just you have to see that the, the area is not like stripey like that. So we can do an overwatch like this just in case if this I guy assist? decides to run over here for some reason. I don't think he will. But you never know. I'm going to move Barry over I to will here. Do. Then we'll... Mm, let's overwatch like this just in case he comes out like that so that's maximum of two attacks we can do let's see what he does okay he's back inside the bar we have no idea where he's at oh okay let's try to we still have a stealth opportunity and i think we have to go for a headshot here we'll just try i don't know how i cannot quite say how good that eye is at this point with these things and also i'm not like 100 percent sure yet if i like it or not you can see on the left side in that big box you know single shot head you can see the accuracy it's not explained in a let's say in a percentile number like it is in for example in xcom i think it's percentile so you know exactly it's 90 percent chance to hit here it is with these plus and minuses so we have three um, pluses from my high marksmanship one for because i'm aiming three times and then because of high ground and then he's behind cover it's a headshot and the range is pretty big so that's minus so it i've seen there's mods that actually give you the percentile chance but i'm not 100 sure if i would like that because yes it gives you a better information how much likely it is but i think it will piss me off more if i know that it was a 99 percent hit chance and i don't hit i know what i'm talking about i played enough xcom <laughs> so we'll try this one ah didn't Perseverance hit. And faith, my friend. that's fine that's fine let's see how this goes don't tease me so i'll move fox off here and then we'll she will overwatch this side so this is what it feels like being the one doing the staring then he will move ah okay there's the guy let's see if we can Good position oh did you see that by the way that's also a new thing if you're behind cover so for i think from here he has almost no sight of him but the game gives you this kind of lean in, out from the from the corner kind of thing if I click, you can see, boom, he goes behind, from behind the corner, he comes up. That's also new. That, I like that very much. That's a cool feature. We're going to pop him into the arms. We'll try. Nice. Very good. Okay, and we'll stay here in the cover. That's fine. Let's see what he does. He'll probably run towards us. Oh, okay. Watch into, uh, walked into Overwatch. That was a difficult Overwatch shot to do. All right. Took a shot at our sniper. That's fine. This guy shouldn't be a problem. He's so far away. Ooh, they're getting in grenade range, I think. You know? They're very close together, and there's another one coming. All right, all right, all right. Let me... Oh, okay, there's another one. Okay, maybe we're gonna definitely... We're, we're probably gonna do the grenade, because uh, we kind of want to get rid of these dudes. So for a grenade, we need... Um, how many AP? Six. So we can move up to four. And then we'll see if we can we lock that the... grenade. Let's try. Yes. All right. Miss chance. Mishap chance. Not because he's just too good. Forgive Boom. Me for taking life. Two goons Ready. down. Now Ready I'm gonna... Shoot. Oh. Also, this is interesting. You haven't seen this before. That's what I was talking about, about armor piercing. So since my rifle is actually shooting a bigger caliber, you know... Um, 762. This defeats the body armor that he has, as you can see here, indicated by the symbol. So it still reduces the damage a little bit, but not by that much. So I'm gonna go for a headshot here, actually. 
Nice. Hey, nice technique. Freaking Maybe you can give me gone. some pointers later on. Okay. Um, and I doubt he will come that close, but shooting what? at this guy from this distance is not a good idea. I'm also gonna hit the deck here, just in case he's gonna take me under fire. Let's see what he does. Ah, uh, he's probably gonna spray it. Ah, okay. Hit me slightly. Ready. Right. Target locked. So a headshot here is actually pretty much the same chance as we had before. Let's try it again. Nice! Plus one marksmanship. Okay, now we'll try to finish him off. He's almost dead, so. Now this is where I most of the time use this um, the mobile shots. Because just a marginal shot like that will do that. Uh, excellent. I just wanted to say thank you for helping the residents of Ernier. I'm sure I hired the right people. I'm going to be leaving for Port Cacao where I'll try to find some leads about my father. But my main hope remains with you. Excellent. This is Santiago. It looks like you certainly are the answer to our problems with the Legion. I have sent you an email with the details regarding our partnership. Good luck. All right. So we have taken over this Don't place. Me. We have agreement. So now it's time what? to loot. What do we have here? Nine millimeter. That's always good to have. Some more 44. Very good. And then there's we'll some more bodies down here. And generally there's some more stuff around here. Sure. There's some loot in here. Let's check it. More nine millimeter. And another high power. I'm gonna give this to Fox probably. Right now she's too far away. I'll give it to uh, we'll her afterwards. Um, right. So now Ready. the first thing I always do when I get to a town like this, next to um, talking to all the residents, is going around and looting. And as I said, it's kind of like in every RPG. People don't mind if you loot. There's some more 44. And some more medicine. Good. Heading out. We're moving. And uh, this is the bar. So there's a, an NPC here. Yes. Also, there's this guy, Billy Boy. Now this is like a minor character. Hey. He just talks like you this. Guys, like those commandos from the movies. Can you blow up a car just by shooting at it? The Legion guys said that doesn't actually happen. True. Then they kicked my projector and laughed at me when I asked them to fix it. So yeah, he has a broken projector. Every once in a while you have like little, How can I not quests, but little events like that. And yes. since we have Barry, he should be good enough to fix this. I think. Yes. Yeah. Okay, no, I he's actually not. Much. I also tried switching the power on and off. And I even removed the lens cap. Now, as far as I know, even if you click again, he won't magically make that check. So once he has enough medical, uh, mechanical to do that, so he won't be able to do it. But I think if we hire live wires, he might be able to do it because I think Barry's medic um, mechanic, yeah, he's at 46. He's not that good of a mechanic. Hello. So live wire might be able to fix this. This will give us a little Heading bit out. more, like a bonus. So you'll see. And there's this NPC. Well, you sure know how to handle those Legion thugs. Wish I could say the same about my husband. They waved their guns at him and he just tucked his chin and followed. Oh my. If he isn't kidnapped, he's going to wish he were dead when I lay my hands on him. <laughs> Let's see, your husband? Those Legion bastards came here and drank everything. And then they pushed my Herman outside and said they want to pay him for his services. I am worried about him, but I have my doubts about this whole affair, I tell you. Hmm, I see, I see. So, um, this is not of a business. But he could be hurt or worse. He may be seduced by some other woman. <laughs> Isn't there anything you can do? <laughs> but, uh, are, are we a dick? Yeah, we said we're gonna be dicks, so he's probably dead. What a cruel thing to say. I don't know why I thought you'd be different from those Legion thugs. But I want nothing to do with you. For we now. might get a hit on our loyalty for the town. No? Okay. Well, we still got a um, um, a uh, quest. We still have Remove know it. that her husband is missing. There's also a hackable device. Let's see what we get. Money. Hey, that's a thousand dollars. That gives us easily like a day more time. Let's go. 
it's always nice to find a little bit of cash like that. Let's so move. there's also Luke. We saw him before um, talking with Pierre. Who are you? You are soldiers, but not with the Legion. Who sent you? Hmm. Prefer not to say. But, well, of course. I just hope that if you are fighting the Legion, you are helping Emma Lafontaine. I tried to leave the village to warn her about the Legion troops trying to capture her. But my... My son Pierre didn't like that. Oh my. He commands the Legion forces here on the island. Now he's does he? He's really one of them. I mean, he's not like them. He's a good boy. Is he's, he now? If you are here to fight the Legion, please try and spare my boy. Ah, uh, he's a criminal and he deserves to be punished. I... I suppose I deserved that. Still, there is no need to be cruel. I am an old man. So what's the story of your Pierre? He... He doesn't understand the choices I've had to make. He doesn't respect me, so he won't listen. But he might listen to you. He's just misguided. Make him see that what he is doing can only end in his death. Hmm. What choices? After my wife was killed by a band of river pirates, I convinced a group of friends to move with me and my son to Erni Island, away from all the fighting. But Pierre, well, he doesn't understand why I did not seek vengeance. So he ran away and joined the Legion. I see. So he's misguided, is he? Pierre always had a sense of honor. But the Legion corrupted him. Made him do bad things in the name of discipline and strength. Now he can't tell the difference between justice and cruelty. Yeah, that's more than just slightly misguided, but okay. Tell us about Ernie Island. Pierre hates this place. But he also wants to protect it. Weird. When my friends and I came here, we dreamed of building a safe haven in his own way. So does Pierre. All right. What happened to Tine? We heard that name before very slightly. He was my oldest and dearest friend. He used to take care of my son when he was little. But when Pierre came back with his new Legion friends, they slaughtered old Tine like a dog in the street. And Pierre just watched and did nothing to stop them. Well, well, well. Okay. Farewell. Right, and there's one more character here, Greasy Basil. I saw you handle those Legion thugs. <laughs> Not bad. I don't expect you did it for free, huh? We don't have the money to pay for your protection. Hmm. You can spare some coin. Come on. Does it look like I am hiding money bags in my pants? Maybe. I can always tell when a man is hiding something in his pants. Of course, I was about to say. I suppose it's better what money we do have goes to you than the Legion. Here, take it. At least you kicked them out. So see, we lost loyalty if now with Ernie, really but we gained resources. You better do it before the Legion returns and someone else gets killed. Or were you just planning on running off like those other mercs? Other mercs? Hmm. Some buffoons who tried to look tough, but mostly failed. I asked them to give us a hand with another gang, but they said they were too busy with some important mission they had. They I had see. a shiny new boat with the Adonis logo on it, but I don't think they were the corporate type. I told them they could just hire me to give them a ride. These waters are treacherous, but they didn't listen. Interesting. So there's other mercs around. So someone was killed, I heard. My friend, Tine. Ah. When the Legion came and started plundering, he shot at Pierre from a sniper spot. He missed. But they caught him later. And if I find the guy who ratted him out, they'll be held to bay. Ah, some treachery going on here. What's up with Pierre? He took off when he was just a kid and joined the Legion. Came back home recently leading a bunch of marauders. Broke his papa's heart. Luke still loves his son. Still sticks up for him, even after Pierre killed our friend Tine. Sometimes I am wondering, 
but no. Luke wouldn't betray his old friend, would he? So he's he thinks that Luke ratted out uh, Tene. Hmm, maybe. Okay, do you know anything about the president? Uh, no, I am sorry. Politics doesn't concern me. Uh, my neighbors and I, we haven't seen anything good come from the government. Uh, the goddamn president. He can die or live forever. I don't care. I see. So they, they're very not much interested in that struggle. They just want their peace. I can understand. We don't know how to fight the Legion. There's not a single person here who has military training. I can teach my nephew over there how to fix a gun, but not how to use it. I see, I see. If you would help me assemble a militia, we may stand a chance against those bandits. Right, we can do that. Is that all? Well, some time ago, I had buried a few old rifles. I could clean them and do some repairs, but that's hardly enough to defend ourselves. Hmm? That's not even enough protection for a quickie. <laughs> Battle, I mean. God damn it, Fox. There should be at least one machine gun left over from the war hidden around the island. If you bring it here, I can fix it up and we can mount it somewhere with a clear field of fire. All right. Uh, we don't really need a ride, but we'll just ask anyway. Well, I'm available for charter, but I'll make you a deal. If you take care of our problem with the Legion, I can give you a discount on my fee. Excellent. When you're good to go. Just open the map and show me the route, and I'll get old Betty gassed up and ready for travel. Keep in mind that once I drop you on the mainland, I'll be heading back home. You can rent another boat from any port sector on the mainland. Right, we'll take a look at that in a second. Au revoir. Okay. So, that's interesting. So you mentioned a war from an old war. Guns from an old war. And you will see in the next few battles and green. things we find. There's a lot of World War II weapons in this game. Um, we already found uh, one of them. The Gewehr 98. There's MG42s. There's MP40s. Stuff like that. You know, there's a lot of old school weaponry. There, there's I also lot, some modern stuff around that we'll find later on in the game. Let's move. Um, let's just run through these houses real quick and Heading check out. if we missed anything. There's some salvage. Salvage gives you um, parts let's go. that you need for repair and upgrading. Now that looks like something we could use. There's more salvage. Mm. What's that? Loot. Oh, a locksmith. Oh, we could travel back to that other sector and open the, the chest. I think we might do that. Uh, best chance of opening. Since I have the lockpick activated, I can see it's a mechanical skill that that requires. So I'm giving, giving it to Barry. And the combat knife, I think I'm going to give that to Barry as well. It's always good to have like a melee weapon with you. You got it. Can sometimes help. Um... Hack with... We're moving. I think we should always hack with Barry because I think he has better chances. I... Ooh, Intel. From Emerald with Coast. Something. There's also Salvage here. Let's move. Three parts. Excellent. It's always very much worth it to go through a whole sector like that. Ooh, more shotgun shells. I hope we find a shotgun because I think Barry has some um, skill with a shotgun. He has some uh, bonuses with shotguns. With so Barry should definitely get a shotgun eventually. Let's move. Uh, right. Let's go to the overall map. So what he was talking about with the boat fare. You can see there's this port symbol. And as long as you control a port, you can travel over water like this. This is, uh, you can see there's a port here, there's also a port up there, there's one here, one here, here, there's a lot of ports. And it's going to be important, especially around this area, you know, if you want to cross certain sections. You know, you can either, for example, if you walk from, want to go from here to here, the land route will take a long time, actually. But if you own a port, you can go from this port into water and then up here. But you need to go from a port. You cannot just go from a random sector into the water. The ports are very important strategic sectors. So now, since we have Ernie here, what we can do is we can do militia training. Now, up to two uh, mercenaries can train militia, just like in Attack of the Lights 2. And it's based on leadership. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to task Barry and Fox. Now, this will lower our funds a little bit, but I just want to have some some mercenaries here so we can have a safe haven you know so we're gonna do that in the task. meantime we're gonna do scouting with dead eye 
you know, it's always good to give all your mercs something to do, either repairing, scouting, training each other. Always a good idea if you have something to do anyway. All right, and meanwhile, um, let us hire Lifewire. I, I think her Done. perk is just too good. All right, there's gather intel complete. Deadeye has finished scouting the area and has found intel for I2 and H3. So we're more of the sectors around. Cool. Um, let's go to the browser. Let's talk to Lifewire. Hello there. Are you in need of my skills? Maybe. Let's see, 4,000. Let's scatter for seven days as well. Ah, fantabulous. When do we start? Where are we going? Oh, will there be candy there or should I bring my own? Oh, God. Oh, she's gonna be all about candy. Um, there was. This is the guy I hired for my last playthrough as my main sniper, and he's always about snacks. He's always like, "Oh, can we have a snack? Where's the next snack?" Always. He's. Uh, some of these characters have some weird freaking quirks. So, now I can choose where she will arrive. Now, in Check of the Lines Two, it was arrival by airport. Now here, it's based on ports so if you have ports they can arrive at these ports so we'll choose the village of ernie since that is our main port she will arrive here so until then we'll have some time to train more mercenaries and maybe we'll do another round of scouting um Done. ready and available nice they both got more um uh leadership let's do another scouting run shall we the thing is with scouting sometimes your mercs get hurt while scouting you have to keep that in mind there we go that just happened so he finished scouting found um intel for the sector Le, Le Bleu, the blue water i think that means scout has scoffed with an enemy patrol every scout receives a wound so that's what i was talking about these are the wounds wounds reduce your hp max hp by 10. so if you spend prolonged time these will go away automatically but you can also treat them now if you want to treat them you have to go um into the menu and to treat wound but the problem is right now our um our medic fox is busy at the moment so she cannot actually do that all right that is so we'll stop training militia for ready. now Did we oh we received more money i believe oh yeah that's right there we go live wire is here so now we'll go to our squats and oh she actually got into charlie's squad automatically excellent um Cool. let's check her gear i actually didn't see what her gear is she has an a pda useful for accessing the web and hacking military grade computers grants additional intel when hacking has cute stickers on it excellent also this is one of the items you cannot move there's a few people that have items that cannot be moved i've i've found out sometimes it's weapons sometimes it's stuff like that also we found this or we didn't found it we got it from basil this is a bag of Chien francs, which is their local currency, which you cannot cash in for money because it's essentially worthless. Because they have so much, like, inflation. I think, for example, in Italy, back in the day, when they didn't have the euro, there was kind of, not quite to that level, but there you paid with, like, tau you know, with notes that had thousands, ten thousand, stuff like that. And this is essentially the situation you have here. You have, basically, this bag probably will buy you a loaf of bread. Then we're gonna keep it because there are merchants who take these. So we'll keep it for now since we don't have too much inventory troubles. Um, what we're gonna do real quick, since we have now Livewire, which has a lockpick set on our own, we're gonna go over here real quick. And uh, if I say I will be somewhere, then that is where I will be. That's just common courtesy. Oh, I like her already. Um, <laughs> so, let's go uh, into our sector here and try to open up that um, chest that we couldn't before because it was locked. All right, all right. Uh, where was that? I think that was all the way... Uh, I forgot. I think... Yeah, over here. It's still marked, which is nice. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. So she's gonna be like our MVP, at least for the start. She's gonna get us so much intel. That's incredible. She also has an extremely high wisdom, which means is, she's gonna be excellent at, um, at scouting. Let's pick that lock. Ching! 
Nice. Ooh, we got our first assault rifle. Now that's nice. Um, I think that I'm actually going to give it to her, I believe. Because um, Fox has um, bonuses if he shoots if she shoots with two weapons. It shows he's um, ambidextrous. And he wants a shotgun. You know what? I think I'm going to do the following. I'm going to give a high power to him for the time being. Fox is going to get the second peacemaker. So she has two of them. And then... The problem is at the moment we don't have a lot of uh, 7.62 ammo. Which means we have 12 bullets for this. That's not a lot. So this is going to be probably in our... Well, let's put it in her second weapon slot. And her first weapon slot is going to be this high power for now. Let's reload it. Uh, there it is. We have a lot of dye mill, so that's fine. Okay, excellent. In attendance. Um, we're going to go... Ooh, let's go do. to this sector for now. I, I forgot if there's enemies here. There might be enemies. This is the place I was telling you right. about. We should have a look around. Yep, we definitely should. Oh, okay, I know which sector that is. Alright. That's nice, I isn't think it? we should look around, yeah? Hide and shoot. That's so, my game. First, very important thing. There's mines here. Oh, shit. Uh, Barry is tired. So, because we've been moving around a lot and haven't rested, he is now tired, which is one of the statuses your mercs can have. So, he has minus one to his max AP. And he cannot gain free movement. Still now, as you can see, this sector has a lot of mines, so that's very okay. dangerous. Let's play hide and go seek. And um, if you ammo. have no guy with you that can find mines, place. which is, I think, a um, mix between uh, the explosive and wisdom stat. Both of those, I think, which help. Which is kind of a shame, frankly. Um, Okay, Tone, it's your turn to bring the grenades. Carry them by hand, no driving. Oh, okay, that was just a note, I think. Mechanical check, equipment dismantled for parts, so we just got 10 parts. No Ooh, we got some stick back. grenades. They go right into Barry's inventory. We'll need that in the coming fight. Then there's some gunpowder. Now you can use gunpowder to craft ammo. I haven't actually done this in my last playthrough, I have to be honest. I had more than enough ammo, so maybe this time around we'll, we'll do that. Moving. And... Yeah, we'll try to um, to surprise these dudes. And Livewire should be able to pretty much detect all the mines on the way. I don't think Quietly. on this path there are any. Most of the mines are around here. So, yeah. Sometimes it's but you have to be extremely to careful with mines. If you step on one, it doesn't kill you instantly, but it hurts you like a motherfucker. Especially if you run around with a whole team. So. Hide and shoot. That is my game. Let's see, let's they move cannot hit what they cannot see. a few people. They'll never see me, which is kind of a shame, frankly. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, well, Fox is a great, great character to have around, I see. Okay, so we can either do something like this. This might hit three of them, and we still have three to fight. Let's try this. Okay, didn't kill all of them. Oh, enemies! Enemies! Alright, he doesn't have enough for a second job. To try to be quiet. Don't be ridiculous! Okay, she's not gonna make that shot for sure. Uh, so he can make a shot. Let's see if he can Aiming. take this guy out. Excellent! You will not scare us! And the problem with this rifle and with most sniper rifles is that you don't get a second shot most of the time. So I'm gonna go you down, to hit the deck. I completely uh, outfit. What else can we do? To to we can do try and do some overwatching. So in case Honestly, they're moving. I do not feel it is fair to make me watch over everyone. Let's see. Okay, there's an interrupt. Oh, that was close. Ah, 
Show them our strength. But if he shoots, he also gets overwatched as well. Now this has, I think, used up all of our overwatch attacks. That's fine. That was a suppression fire. That was full auto. Full auto gives you um, suppressed. Honestly, I do not think we should blame ourselves for missing shots. Ah. The enemy is being very uncooperative. There you go. So if you get full autoed like that, you will gain suppressed as a status. Suppressed gives you minus four to your max AP. So it really makes you pin down. You can barely it's move. It's it's pretty bad status to have. Um, can we take out the Marauder? Uh, this guy? That would be nice if we could take him out. Hmm. We have a lot more minuses than plus. Let's go for a torso shot to be sure. Nice! That was a stealth kill as well. And he's still considered hidden, which is... This is something that is kind of bonkers about stealth. Even if you have a loud rifle, as long as you're in a position where they barely see you, barely you can still bullshit. count as hidden. Which is kind of crazy. Is so and then you can do more stealth shots. It's pretty bonkers. Oh, damn. How can I I'm thinking about using another grenade just to take these two out. Because they're marauders and they can do a lot of crazy shit. Okay, they are not even dead. Don't tease me. I could do this blindfolded and tied up. We let's see. The thing is when you have two weapons, which I really like, you can shoot them singularly. I really like that as well. So I can just shoot the right hand weapon, which would make it a little bit more accurate than if I would use um, both of them. You know what I mean? So since this guy's severely wounded, let's try one shot with... It nice, like okay, cool. Will come to us. And then will we'll do another shot, Why this time not? with the left hand and into his arm. Let's try that. Ah, missed. That's fine. I think we should be good. supposed to be bad at shooting. Ooh, okay. Cover saved us there. Pop him out. Get anything? Nice. Another one. Nothing. Cool. So that I can maybe claim him as well. Now he was wearing torso armor, but we should defeat torso armor. Boom. And he's gone. Snipers are bonkers in this game. They really are. If you have a good sniper and if you get a good sniper rifle with some good modifications, you can absolutely destroy enemies. Believe me. And she's not the best shot, but her qualities are otherwhere. Uh, otherwise, you know. Um, normally I would do this, but I'm not sure if... Um, um, if we have a minefield in front of our face. No clear shot. Maybe we'll have me. to risk it. Because I want to... Get him. Fuck. Okay, we still have a shot. Hurt a bit. Let's do... Well, it won't hurt oh, this anyway. is also interesting. We haven't seen this one. This one means if you shoot this position, you have a very high chance to hit an ally. This, in this case, urban. So we're gonna... Sh Let's try an arm shot. Lucia, Fuck. You will never get us, Legion, boy. Oh, that's bad. Okay, she might get... Okay, he's overwatching now. This is interesting. I do not think we need to worry. The enemy looks completely disorganized and, if I may say so, not very competent. Now, Overwatch, you sometimes can really work well with Overwatch, depending where you are. So if you're in cover, for example, you can sometimes bait out Overwatches that hopefully go into cover. So if I shoot here, it gives me the warning that if I try this shot, he will Overwatch on me. So I'm gonna try and waste this Overwatch shot. Ah, okay, this is bad. Okay, let's, uh, the other Overwatch shot will bait out of him. I better not leave a scar. And yes? now we can get, we Got should be able to get him. Yet. There he is. Almost hit uh, his freaking Herman that over there. there. So we got some no wounded, that's enemy. bad, but Presently that's fine. In Gives me some chance to show him um, how to, break. how to use uh, the, um, against that trap there. The healing system. So there's some lab mines here. Should be easily um, disposed of. Actually, I think we should probably do that with. Uh, let's see, what is her explosive? It's 22. Hi. Okay, we should probably actually do Hello. it with Barry, to be honest. Um, the thing is, I think if you I fail to disarm a landmine, what will happen is it will start a countdown. And then you'll have to move yes. away before it explodes. So, 
We'll just disable these for the parts, essentially. Ooh, that, was close. that was close. That was close. So yeah, if you Moving if you are in a minefield, maybe just move like in little steps, so you don't accidentally run over one of these bad boys. Moving. That's uh, that's a bad feeling if you do that, especially after the combat has we finished. But yeah, there you go. Important lesson. That person is do covered with burns. In yes. Uh, it's almost unreadable. What does it say? Attention. Oh, yeah, yeah. Attention mines, it says. Yeah, yeah. There's some loot. Ah, there's one of the weapons. There's an MP40. There's also a light helmet. So this looks like an old German helmet, doesn't it? At least to me it does. Um, we'll, we'll take that into his inventory for now. There you can see, actually, the rifles take off two spots. Oh, we ha already had a rifle, so you should already. But yeah. Um, some 9mm ammo. Very good. So this also takes 9mm. So we have now a submachine gun, which is kind of cool. I will go presently. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. There's another one. I think he's also standing on one. This yes. is one of these mines that if you stand on it, it doesn't explode. But if you walk away, it does. So, yeah. I won't move my leg. There you go. I won't move my leg. I won't move my leg. God in himmel, how do I get myself into this? We should be able to disarm this guy. Um, someone that can handle explosives might be able to disarm it. Let's try. Thank this is you. successful. You saved my life. You I don't know who you are. But I owe you my life. So this is the Herman guy. The, uh... No, I got to the go dude, home. The, the husband. My Martha would be upset. I'll never hear the end of it. Alright. Let's see, uh... Are you the one that got kidnapped? Yes. They said they would pay me. And now I see what they meant. They came into the village, taking what they please. But then that idiot Tine shot at them. They started beating people up and asking questions, so uh, I told them who did it. So he was a traitor. Just slap him around. How could I know they'd shoot him? I see. Then they brought me here, and I thought I was a goner. So tell us. I wish I could stay and chat, but I really should be getting back to Martha, my wife. All right, we'll have a chat with you later then. Let's keep this thing about Tine between us, eh? Everyone in town would get the wrong idea. What do you mean I the wrong really idea? I know what you mean. People can be so judgmental. <laughs> See, I know you don't work for free, but I'll reward you when I'm back at my shop. I'll give you everything I've got. Just please keep my little secret, okay? Hmm. Okay, maybe, maybe. We can't promise. Is there no end to my suffering? Please reconsider. They'll kill me. And if something happens to me, who will look after Martha? Well, we said we consider, but we cannot promise. With certainty. Okay, now let's just move Moving toward carefully. They Caution. still... Yeah, there's another there one. A trap here. Oh, I hate minefields. Minefields are brutal, yes. man. Let's get moving. More medicine. Moving there's another one. We're on it. Hello there. I will do. Another one. Yeah, the whole beach Very is quiet. essentially full of mines. Hello. Here. And Move. there's a lot of places the in the game where mines galore. And most of the time the game kind of hints at it. Which is good, but... Yeah. Go also, sometimes you can tell just from the environment, you know, kind of these craters Moving are a good, destination. A good uh, indicator. Very Ungern. Moving. There we As go. More moment. parts. Excellent. Hmm? How can Another I part. Let's move. I will go presently. Okay. There is another character. Now, Hello. interestingly enough, last Very time I had un. already some information about her when I interacted with her. Now I don't. Let's see how this goes. Fine. Oh, oh, it's gonna blow! What? Jesus! Yeah, that is uh that's a good start, isn't it? How can I assist? Hey, Hello! Look at this. It worked! Didi Van Bastig, you here to pick up some boom toys? I just sort of uh, blew up the last batch, but I can make some more. Ah. Uh, 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 nice house? Thanks. Flame retardant paint. I make my own. I have to. The off the shelf stuff isn't strong enough. I see. Um, 
Uh, to sell explosives? Yeah, but I'm low on supplies. Bring me parts so I can create some boom toys. I can make the boring types, but also some novel designs. Mm hmm. Let's see, where do we find parts? Have you tried the rust? That bunker is full of useful stuff just waiting to be conjured into beautiful explosions. I see. There may be some Elysian boys around, but they're not that bad when you get to know them. <laughs> Wait, I'll draw you a map. Uh, okay. Uh. Eh, talk fast. I just set the timer. <laughs> I'm joking. I don't even use timers. <laughs> oh, explosives are so much fun. God, she's mad, isn't she? <laughs> Uh, why Boombastic? That's what they call me. Well, at least that's what I call myself. That grumpy old guy Basil calls me a bunch of other names, but half of them I don't even understand. What does whack job mean anyway? <laughs> at least <laughs> don't those vision boys respect my work. They are very careful and polite around my workshop, and they bring me useful parts for explosives. So she deals with the Honestly, Legion. Honestly, and I do not mean to judge, I think you should consider looking for better clientele. Y y yes, definitely. Oh, okay. Stop helping the Legion. Explosives check. Barry has the highest set, 92. Let's try that. But, but they are nice. They bring me parts to make boom toys. I can bring you parts. These parts, very low quality. However, they don't allow me to go near their fort, which is full of wonderful stuff. If you can convince them to let me inside, I'll have enough parts to make boom toys just for myself. Mm -hmm. You bet. Pinky promise. Okay, very good. What do you think of Basil? He's not a bad person. He just doesn't see things my way. He likes putting things together. I like blowing them up. Yeah, that's a very difficult relationship. <laughs> Why explosives? It started as a hobby. There's a bunch of old war stuff all along the coast. Uh, Landmines, artillery shells, mortar rounds. I used to play real-life minesweeper with my friends. Until I ran out of friends. God. <laughs> you know anything about President LaFontaine? Uh, President who? I thought so. Sorry, no idea who that is. I hope I haven't blown him up or something. Yeah, you probably He's have. so careless in minefields as if they don't have one at home. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love her as a character. You know where suppers go when they die? Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh, by the way, what do you think about this design? Please try it out and tell me if it works. If you still can. <laughs> oh, thank you for that. <laughs> Explosives are so exciting. <laughs> they can just Blow your mind! <laughs> oh, the dad jokes never stop. Well, in this case, they're mom jokes? Bad puns. <laughs> knock, knock. Uh, what's ticking? Oh, shit! Oh, fuck. I forgot about this one. <laughs> I was thinking about... Wait, wasn't there something like that? Yeah, yeah, there was. <laughs> shit. Okay, we got a bunch of wounded people, so we'll we'll, we'll have to um it hurts. get to uh, to do a, a little bit of recovery afterwards. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What are the chances I'll find a decent bottle of conditioner? All right. Ooh, another peacemaker. Um, I think we'll strip that one for parts for now. Let's scrap it for six parts. Oh, there you go. Uh, why are you climbing up there? Okay, more parts. Cool. Let's go back to Ernie Island. With certainty. Uh, yeah, we have to rest real quick. Oh, we're going over this sector. That's not what I wanted. Doesn't matter. I bet we could find something useful if we looked around a bit. Yes, yes, I know, but we'll do it afterwards. So sometimes if you uh, recover from wounds, he just recovered from a wound on his own. So that right, basically means sometimes they will get more health if you do so. So if you want to recover from wounds easily, you can go treat wounds. Choose your doctors. You can choose as many doctors as you want. The more you choose, the faster it's going to go. But they need a certain amount of medical stat to do so. Uh, then you get the people that need to be treated. And um, based on how many wounds they have, they will cost a certain amount of... Um, healing items so these guys cost 15 healing items it's five per wound essentially there you go and now we start that and right deserves. here it's gonna be finished and also what i just saw is that deadeye 
leveled up. So when you level up, you can then choose a perk. So now, um, with <laughs> in comparison to my last game where I had a mercenary that I essentially had all these stats here below 70, we had no choices then. Now at least I have them all on 80s, which means I can choose from pretty much everything. So the perks function in the following way. You, If you have at least a stat of 70, as you can see here, you can choose from these bronze perks. Now, if you want to choose from the silver perks, you need at least a stat of 80 and one perk of this category already chosen. And then for 90, uh, for the gold perks, you need 90 of that skill and three perks in that category. So for our sniper, there's a few good perks here. Dexterity, um, we have Deadeye, which gives us 5% more crit chance per aim level. That's a good perk, for example. Untraceable is also very good because it gives us slower detection while sneaking. And even if we fail to do a stealth kill, the failed stealth kill attempt will deal more damage, which is also good. Um... Let's see, there's other very good perks. For example, Distracting Shot is something you should get. At least one guy on your team should get it. It's essentially an attack that if it hits the guy, it will remove Overwatch if the, the, the enemy has Overwatch set. This attack also doesn't provoke Overwatch, which is very strong. So at least somebody should get it. I think for our Sniper, we're either going to go with Deadeye or um, Untraceable. We should go with that eye. It's the name of the character. So there you go. We'll go with that. And as you can see, now we have unlocked the silver perks. So um, we could then go into these here. But we'll see once he levels up again. Okay. So we'll just uh, get our um, wounds back up. Also, um, I'm finished with my task. you I'm can see he is still tired. Now. Now, the tired status, you can see it actually on the timeline. So here, this is the moment when Deadeye will not be tired anymore. So we'll just have to wait a little bit more. There you go. And now we can move on. Um, let's see. There's um, something interesting about the overall sector. You have these notes thing, which shows you um, sectors that have uh, where you have specific quests or other missions that you can do. For example, here we have rescued Herman, so we could interact with something here. Um, and here is a quest where we can get this MG42 that's supposedly here. And Bastion and his family live in this hideout here, apparently. And then here we know that Pierre has uh, his army here and he has information about the Major. So these are the things that we know. Um, you can also check out if we have items somewhere on the floor. We can check that out. We can check specific buildings. Uh, yeah. So I think we're going to go over here. Next, we'll do this one here, this sector. And um, yeah, we'll see. Then next will be this sector here. Now, this is an outpost. Outposts are special in a few ways. For one, outposts will launch attacks against your settlements in regular intervals and also outposts have these shields now these shields basically mean how strong the outpost garrison is so for example there's um, two squads in here right now for for the moment there's pierre and his two guards and then there is another big squad in here and these essentially you can reduce these shields by doing certain missions so for example the outpost currently does not have an assault squad, so when they train an assault squad, they will temporarily gain one more shield, and then they will send it out and lose it again. Um, they had one more shield here, but the Legion will no longer receive supplies from DD Boombastic, so that has already decreased their power. Now, there is a big weapon stash in the old bunker on the Rust, so if we do something with this, this might reduce it as well. And deal with Bastion and his family, this might also reduce it. So... You will know about these with Intel. So, for example, if we go to this outpost here, we have no information about this outpost. So we don't know what exactly we can do. But if you do the scouting mission uh, in your uh, operations, you can get these information and then you can slowly dismantle outposts, which is a very nice and tactical like way to go about it. All right. So next time we'll dive into this sector here. Um, and it's going to be a lot different, I think, from the experience I had in my first playthrough, so, but we'll see how it's going to go.
So, uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and uh, take care.